Heavy snow falling in the high country, and we are seeing widespread rain across the valley. And it is not over yet. We have live team coverage on this wild weather day. Corey's tracking the latest round of storms. But we start tonight with Marissa Sarbach, who's live tonight in Flagstaff. She's been there all day. Marissa, what are you seeing out there? Hi, Christina. Hi, John. Well, I'll tell you, about five minutes ago, it just picked back up, of course, right when we had to get out and do this live shot. Very busy in Flagstaff. It was not so busy this morning, but it has certainly picked up people out and about now that the roads are clearing. But I will still say we are under a winter weather warning, and that is until 11 p.m. tomorrow night. Saturday was nice. Sunday was a blizzard. Phoenix area residents have taken over northern Arizona this week, slowly climbing in elevation on Arizona's busy highways, filling hotel rooms, and hitting the slopes at Snow Bowl. <sighs> Kids, of course, building snowmen and sipping hot cocoa, while adults are busy plowing driveways and putting chains on their tires so it's safe when they need to head out for the day. I grew up in uh, northeast New Hampshire, so mm -hmm. this I isn't my see. first time. <laughs> Which Many of the shops and restaurants in Flagstaff are closed for the inclement weather and for the holiday weekend, but snowed in visitors can sniff out coffee beans a mile away. Came to get some hot chocolate and some coffee for my son. Nice and early this morning, right? Nice and early. He was excited for the snow. Tell we drove up from Glendale. And as for how they'd rate the record snow in Flagstaff so far? It's the, probably the best snowfall we've had in the 20 years that I've been skiing snowboarding here. It's really nice. Yeah, beautiful day to be on the slopes for sure. Really a beautiful weekend overall. Not so beautiful for all the school districts. Flagstaff Unified School District has already canceled classes for tomorrow, and NAU has already canceled classes and closed down campus for tomorrow as well. John, Christina? Well, first of all, getting up there, what was that like? Because we see when we get big storms, I-17 just shuts down. Okay, so we left on Sunday. It was a little messy, John, but it honestly was not as bad as it could have been. We checked in with uh, Crystal Ortiz, our meteorologist, before we took that trek to find out really what the best time would be because we heard from people that are up here that left at 10 in the morning and they had severe problems getting up. We left around noon, 1230, and we didn't really hit many issues. So wow. I think it was a lot based on timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. We did have the GoPro rolling for the whole way up there, actually, and we had aired that footage on Sunday night. Just two people we saw slide off around Munn's park but other than that no major issues well that's, that's good, good to news. hear yeah, yeah. That's good news. give them some time in the morning and they work it all out marissa thank you <laughs> she's in her element i know for <laughs> real yeah it's like she's back in new york oh, yeah. well it was a rainy holiday for much of the valley but for the most part steady light rain yeah. rather than downpours well the good news is the rain has not caused a lot of flooding problems because it's kind of been a little bit sporadic linda williams live in central phoenix with more it looked dry out there a moment ago and, and the sun looks like it's coming out it is indeed. Here comes the sun finally in the Valley of the Sun on this Monday. I was expecting a gully washer myself, but this was not that. As you said, John, widespread, light, and steady. We headed north earlier in the day, heading up to Kingman, just outside the valley, because usually when it rains, those washes really start flowing. But take a look at what we found once we got there. This is one of the main washes just east of the I-17. Instead of rolling, it was a little bit full, but it certainly wasn't running. Not the kind of runoff we might have expected. Now, this was around lunchtime. Low visibility, however, once we did head back to the valley, heading south on I-17. Biggest problem, really, it was like a fog had descended over I-17 because all of the spray being kicked up by the tires on the cars and vehicles all around us. Meanwhile, hardware stores like Barry's True Value in Phoenix, we stopped by there and they were doing their usual brisk business. However, among their customers were people who were dealing with rain headaches. We're talking about rain actually coming inside their houses, usually through the roof, sometimes through the windows, sometimes under the door. We spoke with store manager Matt Brummett. Right now, rainy days, it's not raining too much. We get people to come in and ask for umbrellas every now and then. It's mainly stuff for their house. Like uh, um, last week when it was raining, we got a couple people came in and got some ponchos. So we keep a little bit of personal stuff and then also for your house as well. But I think today it was probably tarps. We probably sold more tarps than anything else. 
And then what if it gets heavier? So, count yourself lucky if you were not heading to a hardware store to buy a tarp or maybe some of that black sticky flex seal stuff that you have to put on a leaky roof.